The Boston Celtics are still the undisputed best team in the NBA, and they regain this title by beating the previously undefeated Cleveland Cavaliers, and in doing so, they hit 22 threes on 41 attempts. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, now let's take a look at some of this Celtics offense, and golly, this court is ugly. But first, it starts with Drew Holiday, who gets a paint touch, and that's the, that's the theme for today's video with the Celtics is paint touches. Then Jason Tatum gets a second paint in touch seven seconds into this possession he's gonna kick because Evan Mobley drops so now Garland has to go and that leaves a wide open Al Horford uh, Cavs actually do a really good job of rotating that's a good job by Evan Mobley now he's even um, but here comes now Al Horford once again and if Al Horford's getting paint touches that is rough now great defense by Evan Mobley he's a fantastic individual defender um, they, they got a hand on that one, but overall, I think that's a really good possession for the Celtics. I mean, they got three paint touches in nine seconds. Great ball movement, and as you'll see later in this video, that translates to like 50% from three on the game. The theme throughout this video will be paint touches for the Celtics because that's what their entire offense revolves around. It's really what any offense in the entire NBA revolves around. But what makes their offense so special is when you have Tatum, who is very good off the catch and shoot. Derek White is almost Clay Thompson levels now off the catch and shoot. Drew Holiday's 40 plus percent. Al Horford 40 plus percent. And then you have four guys in Holiday, White, Tatum, and Brown. They can all get a paint touch whenever they want. Here, Brown's just going to get a paint touch. Collapse the defense, right? And then Merrill is stuck between guarding two because that's how the rotation ends up. If Donovan Mitchell slides over, now Merrill has to guard two. Derek White, great extra pass. And I mean, come on, we really, we really just going to look at Drew Holiday while he shoots that. This is really, really good action right here by the Celtics, and it's what the league is progressing to. So we're going to start it with Derek White. He's going to skip it across to Al Horford, who is now going to get into a dribble handoff, handoff action with Jason Tatum, setting the screen. So now he's got Donovan Mitchell on his hip. And Jared Allen has to play drop coverage because if Tatum drives, then Allen has to be able to protect the rim. Because Mobley can't get, he probably can actually because Mobley is an elite defender. If you want to see some really, really good defense being played, watch Mobley in this game. But anyways, they shut Tatum down. They shut the drive down. But then he's going to just reverse it right back to Al Horford, who's going to knock down a three ball over Jared Allen. And that's pretty much impossible to stop. This possession is going to start out in transition, right? And we're going to get Jalen Brown isoed up. Jalen Brown didn't have the best game in the world tonight. We're going to have him isoed up with Donovan Mitchell. You got Derek White filling in here, Tatum here, Brown or Holiday, excuse me, and then Al Horford. All elite three-point shooters. When they play around Brown like this, they have so many weapons on the three-point line. I mean, look at this is kind of scary, but they're going to get this started here. Uh, Drew Holiday is just going to kind of cut in, seal off Evan Mobley on the backside a little bit, or Garland, excuse me, and then as Brown makes his move into the paint, now Horford is going to flow up. Great movement off the ball by Al there, so he kicks it, but Donovan Mitchell is able to get a hand on it. Now he gets it back out to Jason Tatum, who you've got this mismatch now where Jason Tatum is one-on-one -on -one with Jared Allen. This needs to be flipped. Evan Mobley can do a better job. Um, not Not stop him but he can do a decent enough job this is just a blow by right i mean that is just bad now he's got two feet in the paint while donovan mitchell's still trying to come to help and he gets the and one that you know and jason tatum is a great slasher now as for tatum i mean he's having a phenomenal start to the season but i would really like to see him get downhill more i mean 30 points per game eight rebounds six assists 1.4 steals in 35 minutes you really can't argue with that it's mvp level numbers and that's the end of the discussion uh, he's shooting 46% from the field and 38% from three on 11 attempts. And the degree of difficulty, that's very impressive. He is only 33% off the dribble, though. So I'd really like to see him take maybe one or two less off the dribble per game and get downhill. Once again, this offense has not really changed at all since last year. It's just Jason Tatum, one-on-one -on -one at the top of the key. And then shooter, shooter, other shooter, decent shooter, right? Just everybody uh, and he's going to get to his spot, draw in Donovan Mitchell just enough. And, you know, Donovan Mitchell, he's guarding Jalen Brown. You can help off this much on Jalen Brown usually. Not the greatest three-point shooter, and especially he's the weak link from downtown on the team on the court right here. 
Uh, but he's going to make you pay. And when he's hitting those, they're, they're extremely tough to stop. I say win because uh, he hasn't been hitting them early on this season. Jalen Brown has struggled out of the gates shooting the ball. Uh, he's 20, He's averaging 25.6 points a game, 7.1 rebounds, and 4 assists in 37 minutes, which is definitely a, a solid stat line. It's pretty much identical to what he put up last year when he won finals MVP, but only 43% shooting from the field and 29% from 3 on 7 attempts is concerning. 25% in the catch and shoot compared to last year, where he was 35%. So I expect this to rebound, but early on it's been rough sledding for Jalen. This could potentially make some Boston fans mad, but I think they are at their best when this is the setup, right? When Jalen Brown is the primary attacker, you got Drew Holiday, you got Al Horford, and you got Derek White spacing the floor, and then you got Jason Tatum trailing. So he can walk into a three, he can catch and rip and drive. Now, Evan Mobley's a great defender, so it's it's a tough matchup for Tatum because Mobley is longer and more athletic, but right here, he's just going to catch it, step into it, and as we talked about, he's really good on the catch and shoot. All right, now here's a pretty good set by the Celtics, right? We're going to have Pritchard bringing it across and then he's going to set a little down screen for Quaid or Kate excuse me sorry don't crucify me in the comments to come set a ball screen for Jason Tatum and it's, it doesn't do much but it gets Jared Allen chasing so now he's a little bit tardy to the hedge here and he has to come all the way across basically to the out of bounds line and now Kata can just roll right in it's going to have to be an early tag by Darius Garland which is kind of the theme of the new NBA. Um, or Garland doesn't even tag. Garland's just going to drop right to Hauser because Niang tags. Craig Porter is on the strong side, so he's not helping here with uh, this ball screen action. And Kata is just going to turn around, find Peyton Pritchard. He doesn't make it. Um, but it's a good look. So to start, this is a solid defensive possession. Well, not really, right? There is Garland, and I did bet on him tonight, so of course he was absolutely atrocious, put up a tour date. He was 3 of 21 from the field, but solid defense, and then turns into this. Like, bro, Drew Holiday is crossing half court as he is making this pass to Derek White, who he's going to lead him perfectly. It's going to be an absolute beautiful dime. Derek White's going to catch it. One, two. Donovan Mitchell is doing all he can. I mean, that is fully contested in transition on the move, and Derek White just drains it. Now, as I said earlier, Derek White has been on another level this year. Almost Clay Thompson level of catch and shoot wing that can also strap you down on the other end. 19 points a game, 4.5 rebounds, 4.3 assists, 1.1 steals, and 1 blocks this year. While shooting 46% from the field and 41% from 3 on 9.4 attempts. And those attempts are not easy, let me tell you. This man has been on another level this year. Once again, Joe Mazzulla is showing why he's one of the best coaches in the NBA, and it's not just because he has funny responses um, at interviews. So Pritchard's going to clear out, right? He came right through here. He's going to bring Craig Porter Jr. with him. We're going to get the ball to uh, Nemias Keita here at the elbow, and then Tatum's going to get right into a down screen for Derek White coming off. And this is going to turn into a zoom screen, which means that Nemias Keita is going to get into a dribble handoff action. And... That's probably a foul right there on Davion Mitchell or on Donovan Mitchell. I don't know what she's looking at. She missed it. He just grabbed his arm and held him blatantly, but it, it impedes the progress of this play. Um, nonetheless, this is still filthy as now you got Sam Hauser crashing into the corner. You got Kata in the lob spot. You got Tatum as the throw behind. Um, maybe if we could have got Pritchard setting like a back screen or a flare screen, it would have been even more deadly. Uh, but it doesn't matter because Derek White is just going to do Derek White things, get to his spot, and knock down a tough fall away jump. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like button, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy at any point. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching today's video.